the Lord's caliber. Um, Iggy here, Faltec Unlimited, uh, holster guy. We're going to do literally no bells and whistles. It's going to have a, um, instead of a foamy, we're going to be doing uh, rubber snaps again. And uh, like I said in the last video, which you most likely saw, we built a uh, FN, uh, not FN, sorry, Ruger 5.7 holster with uh, Streamlight TLR. And um, we're trading this and this one for a um, bolt carrier group for an AR-15. Uh, like I said, my girlfriend's building one, and uh, that is the last piece she needs. So we're going to go ahead and knock this out for the 1911. Again, no bells and whistles. The only thing that you have to uh, know when blocking this stuff out is there is the takedown pin. That takedown pin adds retention. So you must block that out. Now, I had a piece that I made specifically for it, but apparently... I use it somewhere else. So, no, uh, no harm in making another one. It's always good to have multiples. This is a uh, multi bolt by uh, Tony Katner, and it is already um, blocked out for the safety and uh, the the release is just so far that you don't have to worry about it. So, what we'll do is we'll kind of try and keep the the body line there. And this is going to come up and go that way. And again, this is um, fiberglass and copper. I used to work at a company that would um, build circuit boards. So, bam. So I'm going to go just sand this to real quick. That's all this literally is. So, mark that down. Bam. Fits perfectly. So we'll just take a big piece of tape and just throw that in there and tape this guy. If you notice, I just did eight. Reason being is I'm pretty sure this mold is slightly thinner than it should be. Um, I think over time, your press just wears them out. So, but uh, I think this has been tight from the beginning. So I'm going to throw an extra couple layers on there. All right, eight on each side. Shouldn't be an issue. This is what I do if something is uh, Cerakoted. And it will help out with that little extra channel for the slide release. So that is all set. And what we need is the blocking from our last build. There we go. Line it up where we want it. there. Perfect. And then we're going to throw this on here. We already have our oven on and uh, we all we have to do is throw this on and then I'm going to have to cut a piece that is big enough for this guy. Or I'll have to cut it down because I, I know it's big enough. It's the last pink I have. Other than stuff that was printed on pink. All right. And that is literally all set. So we're going to go take our pink. Bam. We don't need much. We don't need all of this. So we'll just cut that. Ground, clean it. Throw it in the oven once it hits 350. Take it out and press it. All right, ladies and germs, came out of the press. Looks good. Just gotta get it out. And go ahead. 
mark it. There. So yeah, I like it. All right, so let's just drill where we need to drill. And again, this is going to be uh, rubber loops, so I will show you that when the time comes. Uh, we are foamy. All right, and uh, straightforward. I'll cut it, sand it, and uh, I'll just prep it, and I'll get it to um, the point where we just gotta finish it. Very simple, very easy, no bells and whistles, and uh, let's get to it. Here we are, that was quick and easy, very painless, it literally took five minutes. Uh, all I did, I just cut it, sanded it, so. Pretty boring to see, but I guess that's where all the money shots are. But right, we'll go ahead and uh, Deburr these. All right. And like I said, I went ahead and and I uh, cleaned it. But it looks like I missed a little spot, so I'll hit it with my sponge again. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, hit that with some uh, rim oil. really <laughs> makes the bubble gum pop. <laughs> See what I did there? Right. All right. Add in our retention. Right. And again, this is going to be rubber loops. Luckily, I, I had four left in stock, and I just put a uh, order in to have at least four more come in. So, um, when you're doing rubber loops, don't put those in first. Take these guys, put the button and the screw, and then take it and screw it through the rubber. And I'll repeat that again, and make sure the button head on both sides are facing you, otherwise you'll hate yourself. All right, now go ahead, throw this in there. There we go. There is one. And put that screw in the post. Line it up to where it needs to be. And then like I showed you in the last one, I take my pliers. These are robo grips. And if you notice right here, there's a little bit of a, uh, a lip. That's what um, clicks and locks everything in place. Well, from the factory, I think it's a little bit too much. So I just take it, just do a quick bend. Otherwise, you're going to need, like, flathead screwdrivers to get these off. So there's one, there's two, and then comes off no problem. And that right there is a very pretty 1911, the Lord's Caliber, full-size 5-inch in bubblegum pink. And that, with this... I'll be trading for a bolt carrier group for the girlfriends AR. So you'll see that in a video coming up. Cheers.